Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less, where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. Well, in today's video, I am going to answer one of my most asked questions ever, and that is, where do you store it all? So thanks to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. It has given me the push that I needed to make this happen. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can store your home and event planning related decor and or inventory. So without any further delay, let's get started. So let me give you guys a little backstory. Over the past three years, our hot water heater burst three different times. And the last time the water got into the sheetrock and caused the wire shelving that we had here before to pull away from the wall everything fell down and what i didn't lose in the water i lost a lot of it when the shelves fell down it broke a lot of my items so we had to put in some different shelving units um, over the past month and i didn't really want to deal with it before christmas but i thought january was the perfect time to pull out my Cricut and to do an organization pro project that was long overdue in our garage. So I want to take you guys through the steps of how I organize everything together, um, kind of, you know, how you can do this with ease. And for those of you guys who are looking to organize your garage or storage space, uh, especially if you have a lot of home decor or entertaining pieces, or if you're in event planning, I promise you guys, once you do this, it will make your life so much easier. So let's get started with step number one. So for those of you guys who may not be familiar with Cricut, it is a smart cutting machine that allows you to create personalized projects with hundreds of materials. It works well with this software called Design Space that comes free with your machine. So in Design Space, you can create your project, you can browse from hundreds of fonts and images, and once you've created your design, such as we are doing here, you can send it to your machine to cut. And doing this process was extremely easy, extremely simple, and it gave me the uniform look that I was going for in our garage. Another tool that I highly recommend that you can also find in Design Space is Cricut Learn. And it doesn't matter if you are a beginner or extremely advanced, there is always something new to learn there. And speaking of something new to learn, let me take you guys through my process of reorganizing my home and event planning decor in our garage. Now, I know you guys may say that this doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look as good as it could look. So here is what it looked like before. And if I'm completely transparent here, I did do a lot of cleaning and organizing prior to me sharing this space with you guys because it was definitely catastrophic after the leak that we had in the garage. So once I got the space all cleaned up, I started to get things in order the way that I knew that I wanted them to be essentially. So the first thing that I did was that I styled the shelves according to you know how I thought I wanted to see it. And I think this step is so important because it allows you to get that visual of what you want that final space to look like. And if you needed to make any changes, you could definitely you know, go back and make any changes before you started to fill the containers and things of that nature. So that is the first thing that I did. I got the visual of the space and I tweaked it as I went. Um, I didn't want to have to redo the process over and over again. And once I started labeling the containers, I wanted you know everything to be in place. Now, one of the things that I noticed during this process was that I could definitely adjust the shelves and get more onto the shelves. And so I definitely wanted to make that change as well. And so just taking that learning you know, was huge. So here is what I essentially ended up with um, in terms of designing that space. Now, later I am going to get all of the walls in our garage painted but right now i wanted to just kind of have a system in place so when they come in and paint i'm not dealing with the painting and trying to create a, an organizational system 
Um, also, I needed the system in place because things are starting to get really busy and really hectic. And one of the things about having your event planning inventory or your home decor uh, pieces label, it makes you know the decorating process a whole lot easier and a whole lot more pleasurable. And by creating those labels on my Cricut uh, Explorer, it just made it so much easier for me. The next step that you want to take is that you want to measure your container so that you know uh, what size to create your letters. And I wanted all of them to be uh, very, I wanted them to be kind of the same size. And so I wanted to kind of come up with a font size that I could use on all of the containers, even though they were different size containers. I wanted the font size to be the same. I think it would just give it a more uniform look. And so once I got that size down pack, I started to purge through all of my inventory and put the things that I knew I was going to use and keep in place. And then once that container was filled, I would put a sticker on it and put the lid on it. And it took me several hours to do this part. Um, the quickest part of it was actually printing <laughs> or cutting, not printing, cutting my labels. Um, that was probably the easiest part. So once I had all of the stickers in place, um, I knew exactly where everything was supposed to go and this made my labeling process a whole lot easier. And if I didn't have the label on it, I tried to leave the lid open so that I could see what it was um, supposed to be so that my labeling would be a lot easier. Now, here is another tip, you guys. I found these stackable bins and they are so, so amazing. And I think these would be great for storing linen and things like that for your event planning inventory. And just imagine a whole wall of these with your linen neatly stacked. Um, I just think it would be really incredible and it would definitely be a time saver once I cut out the sizes uh, on my Cricut Explorer 3 and label them, you guys are going to see how much of a time saver it is. You won't have to put the color or the size on them because you'll be able to see the color um, and, and um, excuse me, you won't have to put the color and type. You'll be able to see the color. All you need to know is basically what size and we're going to label them with the sizes and I'll show you guys that process a little bit later on in the video but for now everything is labeled all the containers are ready to go and we are going to finish up the project here is the final reveal i am absolutely in love with the way that everything turned out i love the containers i when i pull up in my garage it's going to make me so happy to pull in and see something so beautifully organized and i am so thankful to have a cutting machine like the cricut explorer 3 to make this all possible um, so as you guys can see, I have containers for his, hers, and theirs. So just things to personalize Robert and I's possession. I have a hope chest. I have a faith chest. I have, um, a container for just ribbon. How many of you guys have a hope chest? Um, I had started one when I was in college and I still have it. And then now that I'm an adult, there are things that I'm still believing for. So I have special items in my faith chest. And then on the very top shelf, I have all of my fall decor 
The second one is like glass items, craft items, and gifts, small gifts that I buy for door prizes for events or, you know, if a birthday or something comes up, I like to place them there. Um, I have, again, his, hers, and theirs, my hope chest, my faith chest, and all of my ribbon that I use for gift wrapping and things of that nature. So here is what it looked like before. Like I said, you know, it didn't look terrible, but it definitely did not look as good as it could have. And so I wanted to make it more uniform and just more, more cohesive. And this is just absolutely gorgeous. So here are the stackable bins that I will be using for my linen. I have them categorized by the size. So I have 90, which is basically for toppers. The 120 is for the round tablecloths and the 132 is also for round tablecloths. The 90 by 132 and the 90 by 156 are both for rectangular tablecloths. So you'll be able to easily see the colors so you don't really have to worry about that. And I just love this new method. I love the way that everything looks. You guys let me know what was your favorite tip. And if you would like to see more of this type of content here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed all of the tips and ideas that I shared for organizing and storing your home and event decor. If you are interested in purchasing a Cricut, all you have to do is click on the link down in the description box below, or you can visit them here. I'll see you guys at the next video. Until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers!